Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. It is season two of Cobra Kai here on AfterBuzz TV. We are talking episode seven, LOL. There is so much crazy stuff happening in this show. It's really heating up. We can't wait to talk to you guys about it. We'll see you in just one second. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz <laughs> And we're back. We are. Woo! We're back. Woo! Plus one. Plus Yay! one. You're She's back. here. I am here. I have arrived. Oh, how are you <laughs> doing? Excited. Look at that headband. I am it's full wicked. on Miyagi Do today. Yeah. We needed Miyagi Do needed to even out their numbers. Yeah. They were feeling yeah. overwhelmed, so they had to send another troop. They, Although, last mm -hmm. I recall, we were able to take down quite a bit of Cobra Kai's <laughs> yeah. in a previous oh, episode, so we I got think, this. I think Tammy was fine. Oh, just yeah. fine. Yep, she absolutely. held her own for sure. She was doing okay. So uh, guys, I want to get right into the episode. There's a lot to talk about. This was a really exciting one. Uh, first, I want to introduce my panel, Michael Klaus on the far end of the table. What is up, everyone? Tammy Govea. Hi. We got Veronica Valencia in the studio. Hi there. And what's going on, guys? I am Ben Bateman. So this is episode seven, LOL. We start out in Coyote Creek. Uh, this is a challenge thrown down by Kreese, who's now starting to kind of you know, take over the Ooh. take over the tone of the dojo I was a little bit. So against this whole Coyote Creek thing. Oh yeah. I was so like, really? I, this is just wrong. It's, it's the real world. It's funny because I like the concept as a game, but obviously they were way more aggressive about achieving the goal, which was to get the headband. It's basically like capture the flag plus. Yeah. There you yeah. Go. I really thought something bad was gonna happen. I just kept feeling like this ominous feeling yeah. of like something really bad is gonna happen. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, I mean, something I guess sort of bad happened, but not like bad happened. Like there's you know later stuff to talk about. Um, but uh, but yeah, so you have this challenge out. It's, it's reds versus blacks, uh, and they and the, they decide to go at it. Now one one new character does emerge before the challenge starts, <laughs> and it's Stingray. He's Ooh. crazy. Big fan of Stingray. Yeah, he's been a big fun. fan. fan of I initially was like, ah, uh, I initially put him on the same level as Dimitri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what? what the annoyance got factor. Going on? I yeah. do. Factor. I dig Dimitri now, though. You like what? Dimitri? <laughs> yes. Was nobody that, likes weird? Dimitri. Yeah, nobody likes Dimitri. It's, uh, no, it's no wonder you're a Miyagi though. Oh, yeah. Uh, burn. <laughs> burn. <laughs> um, you like Dimitri. Yeah, well, I think it's just, I think it's more so I've really come to enjoy the kind of relation the rocky relationship between him and hawk and kind of seeing mm -hmm. like oh what once was a beautiful friendship of mm. two of these two buddies is now you know straining because fractured. is fractured because hawk is so consumed with never wanting to be weak and bullied yeah. again yeah yeah i mean it's it's fair and obviously we're in his arc so there's more to talk about but uh for this particular moment i think we'll start with coyote creek and so you know johnny's not totally comfortable with this he doesn't love the idea of it but crease really wants to do it so uh you know crease goes to miyagi do he decides to challenge daniel and and tell him you know there's a yep. war coming daniel has his line where where he says you know i don't think of it in war and then crease says you know peace is just a lull between battles yeah, this time i won't let him lose war never ends peace is just a lull between battles. a great line yeah Oof. that's just mentally sick yeah, yeah it that's is. just wrong i just him showing up i just i still don't totally understand what the point is uh, is he trying to rile up daniel well yeah because it, when he leaves he says give my regards to mr miyagi oh and he puts yeah. the cigar he, out he's making it very clear to daniel that he has the power to fracture the two of them yeah. and move back in yeah and, and mm -hmm. rightfully resume his place in Cobra Kai. For the sure. The right kind of Cobra Kai. The cigar at 7 a.m. is a power move, Holy by the way. Holy mackerel. <laughs> power move, 7 a.m. cigar. And yeah, that torch he was lighting the cigar yeah. with. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm, I'm still in my life not a cigar guy. I've tried. Really? I've tried to be a cigar guy. I like Ooh. the smell of cigars. Yeah, mm. just not an experience I really mm. enjoy. So those guys that like do the cigars at all times, and there's a lot of them. Uh, it's a thing. Sly Stallone, yeah. who yep. is yeah. a friend of Marty Cove. Yep. They're cigar guys. Yeah. yeah. Um, With the cognac, and it's like a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. It's all the, the wood and smoke <laughs> type of feel to it. So so uh, this challenge that happens in the woods, uh, everybody's going at each other, and I think the point of the scene is to really illustrate to us that uh, Johnny is not a big fan of this. He doesn't mm -hmm. like the, the kind of kill-or-be-killed mentality. Hawk totally buys it. He loves it. Um, and Miguel and Tori, they're kind of like, you know, the couple ass kicking. That was pretty mm -hmm. fun to watch. Yeah, that was great. But um, the, ultimately what ends up happening after everybody's kind of had their moment is Hawk and Miguel have this head-to-head -head thing. And Hawk decides, because he's a villain, because he's the worst, he's going to show off the Medal of Honor. Like 
Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I, I like Hawk. <laughs> he's awesome. But he's a total villain. Oh, 100%. Yeah. And he shows off the Medal of Honor. And Miguel's like, that's not cool, man. That's I, like, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, I was just going to say, I think even that's an interesting relationship because we clearly see the divide between Miyagi-Do and Cobra Kai. But now we're starting to see the divide between between. Uh, excuse me, within Cobra Kai itself, whereas Hawk displays more of the ruthless, no mercy mentality that Kreese is instilling in them, and Miguel is more of the, you know what, we're going to be strong, we're going to be confident, we're going to kick ass, but we're also going to do it with honor, which is more Johnny's um, kind of whole... Yeah. Spiel. And that's what Chris wants. He wants that divide because he will take those students that are on his team and, yeah. and use them. Yeah. Yeah. Chris would rather have five loyal students yes. than 20 uh, here or there cold. And it makes sense. He's, I mean, he's a veteran. He mm-hmm. comes from the military. Mm-hmm. He wants a chain of command. He wants to give an order and have his troops obey him, right? Johnny is not a soldier. Johnny wants to be. He wants to apply these lessons to the real world. And Kreese is kind of still living in in war, in battle. Oh, 100%, yeah. And I think the, the, the thing with Johnny is Johnny doesn't want to appear weak in front of his students. So, like, when Kreese even brings this up and is like, if that's okay with Johnny, obviously it goes through him. What yeah. do you say? That's such a, yeah, I mean, that you was are, such so, a power. You, oh already, you already had students, as we talked about in previous episodes, leave because you didn't uh, fight Daniel. yeah. And now you're are are you risking even more of a fraction if you say no to Crease? And have we had the moment between Crease and Miguel yet, where Crease says to Miguel, "You know, Johnny's just a little confused." Is it, have we had that moment yet? Where, where he I, says to him, "Where he's where I think Johnny's where, left, right? I think he's gone on the road trip." And we have that yeah. moment happened because it's when Miguel apologizes and he said, "Johnny, his heart's in the right place. He's looking because we're going to help get him back mm-hmm. on the right track." Because I have that moment of yeah. you know going yeah. back to who's going to be on Team Crease. Crease wants Miguel on his team. Yeah, of course. He realizes how yeah. good of a fighter he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah. realizes he's the best, he, but he'll, he'll settle for Hawk because yeah. he can. He's Hawk's more but valuable. He wants, he wants to take away the thing that matters most to Johnny, and that's Miguel. Yeah, well, he that, could that also. Relationship. You could also say he would want to take Robbie if he had the chance because Chris has consistently, consistently. Thrown, un- thrown to Johnny, oh, you're not training your son, this is bad. It's more like get him here so I can take him. Yeah. Yes. Now, I really appreciated, though, that Miguel takes the, that he takes the Medal of Honor, um, that he throws the punch, that he, and, and, and that's what Johnny's just like, I don't, I didn't teach you to fight like that. You know, what is this? And then that's when he realizes he's got to get rid of Crease. Um, there's a lot more to talk about in this episode, so I think this little piece of it, I want to make sure that we, we kind of tie off with a bow here, him getting rid of Crease at the end. Yes. I thought, I thought this could work. It can't. Get out. I never want to see you in this dojo again. Um, yep. And Crease has a moment where he looks like he's going to say something. I thought he would and turn he around at the door. Yeah. Were you surprised by that moment? Yeah, because it actually did feel like Johnny kind of one-ups him a little bit. feels like Crease loses a little bit there. Seemed too easy. Yeah. It yeah. seemed like, yeah, it was like oh, really, this is it? Like, you're not taking your picture. You're not taking anything else from here. You're just immediately exiting. Well, I didn't think yeah. it was gone. I just mean, like, in that moment, I oh, assumed yeah. it was going to be, you know, I didn't think that we. this is going to be the break that we got from Crease. No, there um, was certainly a setting up for something that there, we're going to have more Crease. Yeah. So now on the flip side of it, you've got uh, Miyagi-Do and Daniel is trying to train his students. And he's trying to do this balancing act with his wife and his family. Yes. Failing. Mm-hmm. Failing miserably. Yeah. Absolutely failing. And you can see, and, and she's waking up in an empty bed, and he's trying to put all his time and energy into this karate dojo. Um, so they're training in the heat. That's not really working. Now they're training in the cold. That's not really working. <laughs> um, Dimitri actually, for one se- or uh, Eugene, Dimitri. 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 Why do I think Eugene? Dimitri actually catches a kick. Yes. He, uh, Finally. Proud of him. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's like, come on. Yeah, he yeah. actually has a moment, and then he gets kicked. And then he, he immediately gets, 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 gets yeah. kicked the Which next Which is one. so realistic. It's not like yeah. he couldn't turn That's to true. Ninja Dimitri yep. all of a sudden. Baby steps. I was very Baby proud of him steps. in that yes. moment, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Big moment. Um, but, uh, you know, at the same time, you have Sam and Robbie and their moment. They kind of catch arms, and they like, yes. pause for a second. And you're like, oh, yeah. This mm-hmm. is it's going. coming. Yeah. This, is, this is going down. In fact, Nothing's cooling off in there. So much so that I was <laughs> like surprised <laughs> as that happened that everybody didn't like start making jokes. Because I felt like they like hold on it for a second, and everybody would be like, I see what's going on. I, I felt like Daniel would be like, Okay, okay, guys, get back yeah. to two, six, yeah. get on the other side of the yeah. circle. Yeah. I feel like he doesn't, at this point, he just doesn't see Robbie that way of like yeah. potentially being a suitor for, excuse me, potentially being a, a boyfriend for Sam because. A suitor, how cute. <laughs> Well, it's just because it's also like he's taken Robbie under his wing and he's more of like a son now to him. Totally. Mm -hmm. Totally. So the kiss that we all see coming does come. Once they get home, the kiss happens. And then 
there's a knock at the door. Ooh. <laughs> Immediately. And Miguel shows up, and he's mm-hmm. got the Medal of Honor to give back. And Robbie, and it's like a confrontation, but not a total confrontation moment. And I think in that moment, you know this is about to be a, a heel turn for Robbie. Like yep. he's going to mm-hmm. do something kind of bad. I mean, he doesn't mm-hmm. turn into a bad guy, but I think we all saw that coming, right? There was yeah. no poor yeah. choice. Yeah. There was no way he was going to give that Medal of Honor. It's the Medal of Honor and the apology. Yeah, he yeah. says, "Please tell her I'm sorry," and yeah, whatever. That's not going to happen. Yeah. And you're like, oh. It's a perfect setup for like, okay, we can have Robbie and Sam for now, but it's a perfect setup for they won't be long term. So if you're not with this, if you're not for that relationship, don't mm-hmm. worry, kind mm-hmm. of thing. Yeah. Yeah, so now, while this is going on, though, Daniel is only focused on his one thing. He is totally unfocused on his business, his life, his wife. And we're going to talk about this Anoush thing in just one second. But I do want to remind everybody here, really quickly, before we do, After Buzz TV is the ESPN of TV talk, guys. We provide free content, an after show on just about every single show on television for free. Uh, They're on iTunes. They're on YouTube. We have multiple YouTube channels, so please subscribe. There's a drama channel, reality TV. There's there's superhero shows. There's red carpets and events. We have one. Tammy and I just interviewed the cast of Cobra Kai last week. You can find those all on the red carpet events site, so give us a rating, give us a review, leave your likes, comments, thoughts below, and five stars on iTunes if possible, because those reviews are the thing that actually helps us stay the highest in the standings. We thank you for all of your support, uh, and let's talk about this last bit of the show today. So, Amanda and Daniel... She describes their marriage later on in a pretty negative way, but uh, this is where he really hits the wall. He really yep. figures out, like, because uh, he it's like the seven the seven missed calls, the yes. missed meeting with Anoush. She's mm-hmm. already gotten beaten up, and now Anoush is there. Jones on third, big fan of Jones on third. <laughs> yeah, so good, right? <laughs> uh, and uh, and Anoush is like, he's not coming. Gets up and leaves. Quits. Gives Which you notes. never knew what it was, too. You just knew it was a meeting, and, yeah. and I think. It, not knowing what it was kept you focused on everything else in the episode, which was nice. Because if you'd known what it was, you mean why the meeting? More... With the yeah. Meeting? Well, yeah. it was because he'd gotten hit by Johnny, and he was, I guess maybe he was thinking of leaving. And this was a meeting to say, No, we need you to stay. We really appreciate you here. And then we didn't show up for the meeting. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. He was offered a better title by yeah. another car dealership. Tom Cole, man, which is, I, that is, I think, is a, a point in itself of. Is, do we see Tom Cole playing a bigger role? I mean, he's taken, what, With two or three Boba? people? They've mentioned him four or five times in the series so far. He doesn't show up in season one? He's in season one. He meets Tom Cole, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah he but just wondering him. if he comes back. Yeah. Did, yeah. Does he come back a, as a bigger player? I feel like only if they decide to focus more on the dealership, which I highly doubt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Unless there's some karate in the dealership. Unless <laughs> Tom Cole becomes like a backer of Cobra Kai. Whoa. Whoa. Could be. Just throw that one out there. That's a pretty good prediction. I could see that, that happening. Yeah. That's the real deal. Tom Cole advertising. Tom Cobra Cole Kai. and Crease together? Ooh. There's a lot to talk about at the end of the season, guys. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, we're starting to get into the really wild stuff here. But um, uh, so anyway, that's that, that's kind of what happens there. And, you know, Amanda basically tells him off, tells Daniel off. You know, you're, you're not focusing on what matters to you and you're losing focus and, and you can't keep promises. You're not keeping it balanced. So you're going to have to figure it out. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, this is it, it's all kind of falling apart a little bit for our. For our stars, yes. our stars. Uh, there's some conflict here as we are in the you know back mm-hmm. back portion of the show. So before we wrap up episode seven here, I've been asking this question at the end of every single episode. Whose story are you the most invested in right now at the end of episode seven? At this point, yeah. Miguel. Miguel, me too. Miguel. Miguel's my guy. I'm a big I'm a big Miguel fan. He's at this point in the season. I'm gonna love Johnny, but Miguel's story is the one that I'm all in on. Yeah, I think yeah. Miguel is going to... There, we're going to see significant change in Miguel over the next three episodes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think we're, as bef- I think we're now at that point. He, he saw the medal. He sees everything. Yeah. yeah. And he's had a chance to analyze it, and he knows what side he's on. Yeah, I'm he not... Know, he, the line has been drawn in the sand, and he knows he doesn't want to cross that line. He's like the perfect middleman, and it's so interesting because he gets all sides. He's Switzerland. Mm-hmm. He's neutral. He gets it. Yep. And I'm Miguel as well. So I think the panel wow, the for panel. today is wow. we're all Miguel. Team Miguel. We're all in for Miguel. I'm not a big Robbie fan. I got to be honest. I, th- I feel like the opportunity to make Robbie a more interesting character has been there. And they've kind of kept him vanilla to this point. I've been a little surprised yeah. about it. I, I, I have in here a note that I was taking of could a fallout with Robbie drive him away and back to Johnny? Because I just it, there's something that's going to snap. Seems he like has, He has that character where something's going to happen and you snap and something immediately changes mm-hmm. yeah 
Yeah, interesting stuff. So, guys, uh, that is going to wrap us up for episode seven here of Cobra Kai season two. Uh, we've got three more episodes this season to talk about. Really, really exciting. We want a special guest coming on Woo! for if, at least one, if not more, of those episodes. So, folks, where can the people find you if they want to follow along with what you're doing, which we are talking about, Mike? If you want to find me after the show, you can certainly do that and talk more about Cobra Kai. You can follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, at the only MC. And you can find me on Twitter at Tammy Govea and Insta Tammy Govea Official. Veronica Valencia here. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at it's me, Veronica underscore V. You guys can find me at Ben Bateman Media on Twitter and Instagram. Go Stingray! Hi! <laughs> Get ready for episodes 8, 9, and 10 coming up very soon. Oh Thanks, guys. See you soon. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 